Hello, welcome to Technical Umur. This is an unboxing and initial review video of an amazing 3D printer named Creality Kon 3D Printer. 3D printing is considered as a slow process by many, but with right filament type and with a right 3D printer, you can boost the speed of the printing process. I recently had the opportunity to explore the capabilities of the Creality Kon 3D printer and I must say it has left a positive impression on me. In this video, we will look into the various aspects of the Creality Kon from its design and assembly to print quality, speed, user interface, etc. Now let's unbox the printing machine. We have received all the boxes of the 3D printer. As you have seen earlier, the big box contains the 3D printer and the smaller box contains filaments inside. This big packaging box is a bit heavy and we are going to start our unboxing with this box. The first item we get is a product manual or installation guide. We will get help from this installation guide when we will assemble all the parts. The next item we get is a transparent acrylic clear top cover which is to see through all the operations that happens in a 3D printing machine. Then we remove a supporting foam from the package and we get another box. The next item is a magnetic lock or door lock for the acrylic transparent cover. That another box contains PLA filament for the 3D printer. This PLA filament's color is white. PLA type filament's material is really good at texturing better details of different 3D objects and models. We are going to keep this aside. In the next box, we get a nozzle clogging tool a plastic spatula, a wrench, couple of boards and a screwdriver, then a metal grease tube, a glue stick, double coated tissue tape and a USB pen drive. Inside of a mini box, we get a cutter. Then we get a device wrapped in a poly pack here. It's a monitoring screen. Then we get four rubber feet and a spool holder. We remove more foam support from the package. Then we get a power cable. After that comes the printing bed. It's the main base on where the printer starts making 3D models on. We keep this aside for a moment. Now we remove the last supporting foam. Then we put out the 3D printer from the packaging. Assemble and setting up all the parts of the Creality Kon is a straightforward process thanks to the well-organized and detailed instructions provided in the user manual. We will install the printer on a good place where operating the device is safe. By the way, we get a sticker page with the packaging, an after-sale service card or warranty card where the company policy has been described vividly. Back to the user manual or quick installation guide. Here all the detailed informations are written, these are easy to understand and well illustrated. From opening the box packaging to assembling parts, then setting up the device, every instructions are present here. We also get a VIP rights card here. We will put out the filament from its package. Then we will add the four rubber feet of the 3D printer. After this, we will connect the power cable. Then we will install the screen monitor on the front side of the printer. Now comes the filament part. We will connect the filament on a spool holder on the back side of the printer carefully. After powering on the device, we will choose language and then proceed. Then we will remove three screws according to instruction showing on the screen. We will click OK once it is done. Then we will check mark the privacy policy box and proceed next. We will configure the time zone settings, server settings etc then self check procedure will come. Here the printer will check its different parameters doing some test itself like nozzle heating, hotbed heating, heat break fan, mainboard fan, input shaping and auto leveling. After all the self tests are done, we can update the firmware software of the printer if it's connected to the cloud. We get many settings and configuration of the printer in the settings menu. There are some default models added on the printer which we can print out to test the device. 
If we select the model and then press print button, then the printer will start printing that model automatically. By the way, you can add models from your smartphone or from computer and then print that model here. There are many 3D modeling software or platforms like Tinkercad, 3ds Max, Blender, etc. From there, you can configure and import various types of model data and then print that in this Creality k on 3D printer. The Creality k on strikes a good balance between speed and quality. The faster speed not just saves your time, but it also ensures reliable and precise prints, making it suitable for both beginners and experienced users who prioritize print accuracy over speed. One of the standout features of the Creality k on is its impressive print quality. I am particularly impressed by the smoothness of the surface of the model and the minimal layer lines on the finished prints. Also, the touch screen interface of the Creality k on is intuitive and easy to navigate. It has many easy to use functions in its UI. To conclude this video, I will recap my opinion about this printer. The Creality k on 3D printer offers excellent value for its price. It's a reliable and user-friendly option, making it an ideal choice for beginners and enthusiasts alike. With its impressive print quality, ease of assembly, and affordable price, the Creality k on is a recommendable entry-level 3D printer that delivers both speed and quality 3D printing.